Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to talk about what we call the dynamic viscosity of water. Well, in the previous video, we saw an equation where we were able to calculate the Reynolds number, which then determines whether or not the flow of the fluid is laminar or whether or not it's turbulent. The greater the number, the more the propensity for the fluid to be turbulent as it flows through the pipe. So you can see here that the Reynolds number is calculated by multiplying the density of the fluid with the velocity and the diameter of the pipe, but we divide it by what we call the dynamic viscosity of water. And here we have a table that represents the dynamic viscosity of water as a function of the temperature. Notice, as the temperature increases, the dynamic viscosity increases. But since it's a, it's a function of the, since it's in the denominator of this equation, a smaller dynamic viscosity causes a larger Reynolds number, which means that if the temperature increases, the temperature of the water increases, there's a higher likelihood for turbulent flow rather than laminar flow. And more turbulent flow, that means a greater opposition to the flow, a greater uh, frictional force or frictional losses. So notice that when the temperature is zero degrees, it's about 1.8, and then as the temperature increases, it goes all the way down to about 0.28, and this is in terms of millipascals times seconds. Now what about the units? Well, notice, if we calculate the Reynolds number, we're trying to find the, the units of the Reynolds number in the numerator, it's density times velocity times distance. If we simplify that, we get kilograms per meter times seconds. So the denominator should be kilograms per meter times seconds for the two to cancel out and for the Reynolds number to be unitless. Well, notice Pascal's times seconds is newtons per square meter times seconds, and a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. If we simplify all that, indeed, we get kilograms per meter times seconds, which means that the numerator units and the denominator units will cancel out, and the Reynolds number is unitless. So by definition, mu, the dynamic viscosity of the water, needs to have the units of kilograms per meter per second. And uh, again, notice that with increasing in temperatures, we have increasing opposition to flow, and therefore a greater frictional loss. And that's what we mean by the dynamic viscosity of water.